Welcome viewers. In today's mathematics class, an exponential equation, it is given to us that if 2 raised to the power x raised to the power 2 divided by 4 raised to the power x is equal to 16, we are expected to find the value of x. Let us dive in solution to it. The question is 2 raised to the power x also raised to the power 2 divided by 4 raised to the power x equal to 16. From the left hand side, I can write 2 raised to the power x raised to the power 2. At the denominator, I can express 4 as 2 raised to the power 2 divided multiplied by x equal to 16. This means that when the basis are the same, I can apply the law of indices, exponential law. Therefore, Moving forward, I can still put it as 2 raised to the power x raised to the power 2 all over 2 raised to the power 2x is equal to 16, which is 2 raised to the power 4. Therefore, a raised to the power x all over a raised to the power y is equal to a raised to the power x minus y. Division law in indices. So doing that by the left, I have 2 raised to the power x raised to the power 2 minus 2x equal to 2 raised to the power 4. In indices, when the bases are the same, the powers automatically become equal. So I can cancel the bases and that will give me the powers equal x raised to the power 2 minus 2x is equal to 4. Moving forward from the Right hand side to the left hand side is going to give me x raised to the power 2 minus 2x minus 4 equal to 0. This is a typical quadratic equation. Let's go by quadratic formula. A here is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and the c is equal to negative 4. Therefore, I can have it written as quadratic formula, which is a x equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is what we call quadratic formula. And going by it, I am going to have the values of x replaced, the values of a, b, and c. When a is 1, b is minus 2. So here, I have minus minus 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared then minus 4 multiplied by 1 which is a also multiplied by 4 which is minus 4 that is by c the value of c is minus 4 so replacing c minus 4 a is 1 then minus 4 now everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1 which is the value of a Therefore, this is going to be minus minus is plus, then plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared will give me positive 4. Then minus 4 multiplied by minus 4 will give me plus 16. Then multiply by 1, all over 2. Making x to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 20. Then all over 2. You know, this is the same thing as 2 plus or minus 20 is the same thing as uh, 2 the square root of 5 all over 2 but uh, we can factor 2 out uh, to get these two cancel out so that we now have 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 in conclusion okay the value of x becomes the first value of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 and the second value of x becomes 1 minus square root of 5. These are the two values of x in the given question. So we write here x equal to um, 1 plus root 5 and uh, x equal to 1 minus root 5. These are the values of x. Thank you dear friends for watching to the end. Do remember to subscribe to this channel. To talk to you, so Bye.